Welcome to all you woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. It's unboxing time again. This overly large box should contain 18 prints I purchased over a period of a few months from an auction house in Japan. I handpicked the prints based on the artist, the print quality, the composition, and the subject matter. Many of these prints will end up for sale on my Cross-Eyed Gallery website. I'm never sure exactly how the prints will look in person, so let's open this up and see what we have. Remove the paper padding, and here's the prints. Make sure to check to see if I missed anything. All good. Okay, let's begin. Okay, uh, this first print looks like it's backed. This is an image by Kunisada III from a hard to find series called Smash Hits on the Kabuki Stage. It shows the actor Bando Hiko Saboro V as the wet nurse Otsuji. She's praying under the waterfall so that the young Buddhist orphan whom she believes to be mute may regain his speech and become skilled in martial arts in order to avenge the death of his father. This is a popular scene that many artists made versions of. Okay, on to the next print. Wow, the color and impression on this one is really nice. This is also by Kunisada from the 1843 series, 100 Poems by 100 Poets. It's called Sugawara no Michizane. And this was a collaborative series by Kunisada, Hiroshige, and Kuniyoshi. It has been backed, and there's a fold crease down the middle because it was in an album at some point. Next, we have an interesting print from Hiroshige 3 from the series Humor Scenes at the Famous Places of Tokyo. I didn't realize he made any humorous prints and looking online, I could only find a couple of prints from this series. Here we see this hawk that's flown down and stolen this man's hat. It's not backed and the condition is very good, albeit a bit dirty. Moving along, let's see what we have here. Ah, if you watched my previous unboxing video, you saw that I acquired several from this series last month. This is a great image from the 1852 series by Kunisada II called The Book of the Eight Dog Heroes. This is the priest Bungyu. The Eight Dog Heroes was a strange supernatural novel that spanned 106 volumes, making it one of the world's longest novels. I love this guy's evil expression as he's getting ready to stab someone. This next print is from Kunichika. I didn't find much information about this one online. All I know is it's a female Shiranami, or bandit, played by actor Nakamura Shikan. I like the simple image and this really cool dragon she has on her kimono. Unfortunately, look at the back here. Someone has tried to repair this area with tape. Okay, this next one looks like fun. This is by Kunichika from a series I discovered recently called The Good and Evil Demon Mirror. And this print uh, depicts Banzuin Chobe, who was a gangster in Japan's Edo period and supposedly fought against injustice and protected the common people. He established himself in the Asakusa district of Edo, where he founded an employment agency for Ronin or unemployed samurai. Uh, he trained as a warrior and was renowned for his swordsmanship. What a great image. The contorted pose, the realistic blood splattered on his kimono and flowing down his arm. Now for something different, also from Kunichika. I couldn't find much on this series, but it's called The Pride of Glossy Makeup. All the prints in this series feature a very stylized background with a woman in the foreground 
beautifying herself in some manner. Even though she's partially dressed, she looks quite elegant. She's getting ready to smoke her pipe in front of her makeup mirror. Okay, next. Oh, it looks like they mounted this on some old note paper. This is another print by Kunichika from an 1865 series called 36 Phrases of Kabuki. This is called Onijin Omatsu Tanosuke, and it's loosely based on the true story of Omatsu, an outcast who used her beauty to rise socially, marry, and then poison her older wealthy husband who was a blind samurai. She later became an outlaw and gang leader. I love all the elements here, the snake kimono, the baby at her breast, and the sword in her hand. What more could you ask for? Next is a print from one of my favorite series of all time. This is Kunichika's 36 Good and Evil Beauties. In this print, Kunichika shows Princess Kiyoshi Hikarin in an act of vengeance in front of a folding screen. The Tokugawa clan crest is the triple hollyhock and has been a readily recognized icon in Japan for centuries. The margins on this print are great and the color and condition is excellent. This next print is from that series by Kunichika, Good and Evil Demon Mirror. I think this is Heitaro Soma Ryomon, but I don't know anything more about this. You can see it doesn't have any margins, but the color and printing quality is really good. Okay, let's see what we have here. Ah, this print is by Kuniyoshi from 1847. It's from that collaborative series, 100 Poems by 100 Poets. In this scene, we see the historical figure of Minamoto no Yorimasa, and he was wounded by an arrow and composed a farewell poem on a fan before committing seppuku. This may be the earliest recorded instance of a samurai's suicide. This is a famous story and many artists have depicted this same scene. Next, we have a print by Kunisada from his 1852 series, 53 Stations of the Tokaido. This scene is of Seki Station and depicts the actor Iwai uh, Shijaku as Koman. If you remember, Kunisada took these background scenes from Hiroshige's prints. The quality of this print is really nice. Up next, we have another print from the Eight Dog Heroes series by Kunisada II. This shows actor Ichikawa Danzo VI as Jujo Shakuhachiro. This is a wild scene. Check out his hair flying in all directions and his hand on his sword, getting ready to fight. I love the detail on this one. This print is by Kunichika from his series, 36 Famous Restaurants in Tokyo. This is Aoyagi Restaurant. And um, this series of prints paired famous geisha with famous Tokyo eateries. And the square panel at the top left shows either uh, specialty dishes of the restaurant or views from the eatery. The large yellow cartouche on the right shows the series title, name of the geisha, and the restaurant's address. And in the background, you have this brilliant red cloth pattern in the top half and a monochrome sumi-e or ink style painting in the bottom half. This next print is from the same series. This is Somehachi Masudaya Mochiya or a, it's a rice cake shop. And here we see a woman and child going to the restaurant or coming from the restaurant. Their purses are in their hands. In the background on this one, you can get a better look at that a monochrome sumi S style painting I mentioned. And here is a third print from that same series. This is Kuruma Ogi restaurant with the courtesan Otoku. It's a bit dirty, but the colors are so vibrant. This series is really growing on me. Now the last print. Congratulations for those 65% of you that made it this far. This print is most definitely backed, and it's a print by Yoshitoshi called 
the Matsumoto Restaurant in Fukagawa from the 1878 series, Comparisons of Fancy Dishes in the Restaurants of the Imperial Capital. In this title, fancy dishes didn't mean the food, it meant the beautiful women that worked in these places. Besides the fancy dishes, this series also has an emphasis on Western perspective as seen in the depiction of the architecture. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I always learn so much about Japanese history and tales through collecting woodblock prints. If you like this video, you'll probably like my other unboxing videos. Look for many of these prints to be available on the Cross-Eyed Gallery website. I have another batch of prints arriving in a few months. So until next time, happy collecting.